Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metropolis Radio. Today, we are talking about more Expendables news. Finally, more news on the Expendables 4 comes out. And it's not necessarily the best news, depending on what, what lens you look at it through. And that is uh, Sylvester Stallone announces exit from Expendables franchise as he wraps production on the fourth installment. This broke, obviously, on October 18th. So by the time this comes out, this will, be, this will have been a few days old. Um, Sylvester Stallone has confirmed that he is moving on from the Expendables franchise after 12 years with the Lionsgate action film franchise. He made the announcement last week in a video published to Instagram, which saw him walking around the set of Expendables 4 on his final date of shooting. And you know, instead of reading to you what he said in the video, I'm just going to show you the entire Instagram video in its full length, and then we will come back and I will give my thoughts on it. Well, they just finished a very successful stunt, and it's time to be moving on. This will be my last day, so I'm enjoying it, but it's always bittersweet, you know, when something you've been so attached to, I guess since, well, now it's been about 12 years, and ready to pass the baton on to Jason and his capable hands but you know the greatest thing is being able to provide films that somewhat entertainment and maybe there's a little message in there because what I try to convey in my successful films is the human touch the bond not so much the action the action is self-evident but relating <laughs> look at his hands everywhere it's just relating to the audience in a way that they can identify with whatever the mission is with uh, the characters at hand. To make some sense out of that. Just providing escapism and hopefully there's a little, little something extra in there. That's the hard part. Heart, energy, and humor. Anyway. I'll be leaving tomorrow, heading back to the gold, good old U.S. of A. Can't wait. And getting ready to accept the next challenge. You know what, guys? It, honestly, thinking, honestly thinking about it, it doesn't surprise me that uh, Sly Stallone is walking away from the franchise at this point. Keep in mind, uh, Sylvester Stallone is now a 75-year-old man. You know, and th this was always one of the biggest problems with the with the Expendables franchise. I have loved this uh, th this series from the very first movie, and I loved it for what it was. It was a callback to the old school, you know, 80s action movies. You know, with the guys like Kurt Russell, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone. Um, who's another guy? I'm thinking. Uh, who's who's an who's another big one? Um. Fuck, I can't, I can't really think of any more. But those were your big three: your Kurt, Kurt Russell, Sylvester Stallone, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. These huge, jacked up dudes that just that looked like Greek gods. And you know, yeah, effective. Well, effectively, um, Kurt Russell rebranded himself in the '80s as that. And some, and some other, and some guys like Carl Weathers got absolutely jacked for uh, for certain roles, like um, like um, oh, what was that movie he did based on the toy line? I'm, I'm, uh, was it like? I, I want to say, was it like Action Gym or something like that? Um, I'll know it as, as soon as I see. I, I'll know it as soon as I see the name. I'm looking it up on IMDb right now. Um, bum, 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 bum. um, I know it came out. Action Jackson. I knew I'd think of the name. Yeah, I knew it was based on a toy line. Yeah. Um. A, yeah. Action Jackson. Um. Anyway, where was I, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So my my big thing with the Expendables franchise is. I knew that this series was always going to have a short shelf life because, you know, okay, Sly Stallone's now a 75-year-old man. Dolph Lundgren is get, is now getting up into his mid-60s. Uh, even if you brought back Wesley Snipes from Expendables 3, he's now getting up into his 60s. Uh, Statham is getting into his mid-50s. So, I mean, you know, you really have the leads of this, of this series are not getting, are really not getting any younger. And I would actually, I would be perfectly content if The Expendables 4 was the last movie in the series. 
actually, I'll actually, I would say this. Now, this was before Expendables 3 came out. I was perfectly content with the Expendables 3 being the wrap up. That was up until it was announced that it was a PG-13 entry. And then the movie came out and was absolute dog shit. And I remember everybody at the time was blaming, oh, it was because the uh, the whole movie leaked online. Um, dur- um, um, the whole movie le- like leaked online via via the Pirate Bay, and it's like, well, I think the movie being a uh, being a PG thirteen probably did more damage to the Expendables three than um than the torrent than torrenting from the Pirate Bay ever did. And I don't remember where it was, but I do remember Sylvester Stallone coming out like after the like a couple years after the Expendables three hit, and basically admitted that making that movie a uh, PG thirteen entry was probably the was was the biggest mistake that they made. So have Expendables four come out as basically an apology for Expendables three, and then just retire the series from from that point on because. What the hell? I I mean, what the hell else are they gonna do? Who else are they gonna bring back? They gonna bring back Kurt Russell? Kurt Russell is is yet another guy that's now at least pushing his seventies. Um, let me look that up real quick. Um, hold on. Um, I got it here. Uh, yeah, Kurt Russell is is now is now seventy years old. So I mean, what I mean, you know, how many more movies are they gonna are they gonna realistically get? Very soon, you're gonna run out of '80s action movie stars to you know to to call up and, and go, you know, hey, you want to do it? You want to do a throwback? Um, you want to do a throwback to uh, Escape from New York? It's like, you know, fuck no, I'm da- I'm da- I'm damn near seventy. So now you got to start getting into the action stars of the nineties, and there's not too many of those guys. I mean, sure, you've got you've got Wesley Snipes, you've got Steven Seagal. Uh, you've got, you know, Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Well, Jet Li was in the, was in the first movie, was only in the first 10 minutes of Expendables 2, and was, was basically absent from Expendables 3, and Jackie Chan on numerous occasions has turned down coming into the Expendables series, so he's out. Uh, you've got Steven Seagal, but, you know, uh, Seagal does not look, uh, as good as he did in the 90s, I mean... You know, there if it's like a if it's like a before and after, you would swear you are watching a Jenny Craig commercial. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, so expe- so Expendables four. If it's the last movie in the franchise, if it's the last movie in the series, uh, it will not surprise me. But you know, how how do you guys feel about it? If you're if you're fans of the of the Expendables movies, would you like to see the series continue despite the fact that a lot of these '80s action movie stars are you know, getting older and they're going to have to, you know, creep up into the nineties and two thousands, or is it better? Is it better to just put this franchise to bed and call it good? And guys, that's pretty much all I've got for you. If you stuck around this long, thanks so much for doing so. And if you've been following me long enough, you know, I'm terrible at ending these videos. So I will just see you guys on next time.